All right, here's another classic limits problem. Limit of x equals to 0. Again, it's indeterminate. You can't just plug 0 in for these two h values because then you'll get 0 over 0. So you have to come up with another trick. Now, this is the opposite of what um, you've seen maybe on other videos I've produced. Um, what you'll notice here is that this is a difference of perfect squares. And remember, a squared minus b squared factors into a plus b, a minus b. So that's what we're going to do. Always look for patterns, and that's why when you're in algebra or algebra two trick, it's good to know patterns, not just be able to do problems over and over again. You have to be able to recognize patterns, that kind of stuff. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of, I'm going to break it up like this. That I'm going to put here 1 plus h, 1 plus h, and that I'm going to put minus 1 and plus 1. That's the pattern that I used all over h. When I do that, you'll notice that nice things start to happen. This cancels out, and I just get h. This turns into h plus 2 all over h. Don't distribute yet, because after all, you're trying to simplify. Don't complicate. Simplify before you complicate. Those h's cancel, so I get the limit as h goes to 0 of h plus 2 which now I can plug in 0, and I just get 2, and there's my answer.